although it is a little bit chilly today. It's like 60 degrees and it's been raining. You can probably see on the window. And normally, I hate the cold, but I feel like today has been like the perfect temperature. It's like 65 and it's been a nice break from the past week or so. It's been almost up to 90 a couple of days this week and pretty much every day it's been in like the 80s at least which I love like I am such a summer girl and I love warm weather I hate being cold but at my house we don't have air conditioning so I actually haven't been sleeping very well honestly I haven't been sleeping well for like the past month especially with hot weather I it's so hard for me to fall asleep at night so hopefully tonight and today our house will cool off a little and I can finally get some good sleep I'm about to head to Whole Foods. I have a bunch of errands that I need to run today, one of which is grocery shopping, but I don't have any food right now. Like, I literally have nothing to eat, and it's like, what time is it even? I don't know. I have no idea what time it is. But I had breakfast this morning, and then I went to the gym, and I had a scoop of protein, and then that ice cream sandwich, and that's all I've had today. So I want to stop by Whole Foods and get just like something quick to eat because I'm drained and if I were to like go to the grocery store and then come home and make food, I feel like it would take me like an hour and a half before I eat and I just can't do that right now. I have to like eat something quick. So we're going to go see what they have at Whole Foods and I might pick up a few things there that I usually get. I should have made a list. I usually make a list, but... <sighs> Things have just been hectic lately, so let's go to Whole Foods. I don't know if I'm just like super out of touch or something, but everyone says that Whole Foods is super expensive. I swear everything that I buy there, I've like just mentally compared it to the price of other things or like the same item at like a regular grocery store. And I feel like it's so similar that it doesn't make that big of a difference. But again, maybe I'm just like so out of touch. And also I never buy like any sort of produce at Whole Foods. Like I would never buy, not that I would never, but I just normally don't buy like vegetables, fruit. I definitely don't buy like meat or anything like that. And I feel like just for the most part, everything that I do buy there is like, you're not going to find it cheaper at other places, maybe Walmart, but a lot of times when I go to Walmart, they are either like out of stock or they just don't sell what I'm trying to get. I just got one of these pre-made things from Whole Foods. Also, like this was $4. I don't know. That's probably steep, but whatever. It's worth it to me sometimes. I think I talked about this in my last video, like this couscous thing that I'm obsessed with. So I just got another one of these. I'll honestly be so sad if they ever get rid of this. Also wanted to give a dermatitis update. I don't know. Like when I'm filming and I look in my like, what's that thing called? Viewfinder. I feel like in the viewfinder, it looks worse. But then when I go to edit on my computer, you can't even tell. Like I was editing one of my last videos and I was talking about my perioral dermatitis and the whole time you like can't even see anything it might be like a little bit red but anyways I don't know if I've said I've talked about this so many times in my last three videos I've been dealing with perioral dermatitis for the last couple of months and I just thought I would give a little update because I've actually been trying to just put absolutely nothing on the area I also did have this was a zit right here but other than that, everything else is 
the dermatitis. So cute, huh? Have been trying a prescription for the past month, I think. Yeah, for like the past month I have been using a prescription for it. And I think like in the past few days, I've just honestly tried to put absolutely nothing on it. I'm like not trying to put face wash, I'm not trying to put moisturizer. And I've been doing like two nights on of the prescription and then one night off because I don't know. It just seems like the prescription isn't working and not that it's not working because it's definitely improved, but I've just heard if anyone out there follows Sarah's Day on YouTube, I just watched one of her YouTube videos recently and she has perioral dermatitis and she's like struggled with it for like years. In like little spurts, it'll come on during different times due to like hormones and stuff like that. She said that she doesn't put anything on it. Like she doesn't put moisturizer. Like she just lets it be. That's the only thing that will like make it go away. Which I've also heard dermatologists say that, but then also dermatologists say that, like, you can use really gentle moisturizers and face washes, which I have, like, the Vanny Cream face wash and moisturizer, so I thought I was okay, but I do think when I just avoid it at all costs, it does get better. I did put, um, moisturizer on today, so maybe that's why it's a little bit flared up, but I don't know. I feel like, again, I need to just make a whole video about this and then stop talking about it in every single video because I don't know maybe people are interested in it but I feel like it's not a super common condition so if I just make a separate video and then I could just give shorter updates in my videos if it like improves or whatever also I am wearing my hoodie that I got in one of my last videos I got this mad happy Lakers hoodie which again not a Lakers fan but I just thought this hoodie was cute <laughs> I'm just not a basketball fan in general so I don't really care if I'm supporting a team and I've I try to support West Coast teams if I can because I just love the West Coast <laughs> okay I thought about getting a car wash today but it's been raining I don't know if that it's a good idea. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but I do need to go to Target and then the grocery store. I need to make a list before I go to the grocery store, though. Again, I'm going to the regular grocery store to get, like, my sweet potato, my broccoli, stuff like that. And I just picked up a few things at Whole Foods that usually my grocery store doesn't have. Oh my gosh, I also really want to do a video on my laser hair removal. I've been doing at home laser hair removal and I thought I should do an update because I got the laser hair removal device for myself for Christmas and yeah. I just wanted to do a video on it. I'm gonna write that down in my notes app. I have like a notes app of YouTube videos that I want to film. Uh, laser hair removal update. I just want to, I just, I just want to do a video on it so that I can give you guys all the tea, all the little details. Um, I have so many videos that I want to film in here, but I'm trying to get my room situated. My camera keeps shaking, so I'm sorry if you can tell. I'm trying to get my room situated. Like I said in my last vlog, I was like searching for a cute duvet cover. I want to like decorate it cute and make it colorful because I don't like filming in my room right now when it's just kind of not cute not decorated at all there's like boxes stuff isn't organized so I'm trying to like get my bedroom together and then we can film videos that are cute in my bedroom but until then we're hanging out in the car <laughs> I do love sitting and chatting in the car but I feel like it's it would be a little bit strange to do a laser hair removal video in my car. <laughs> anyways, I think I'm gonna go to bleh, anyways, I'm gonna go to Target first. And then we'll go to the grocery store. I feel like there's stuff on my face. I'm just leaving Target right now. Um I went in there for a few things, but I came out with one. I feel like 
that is me at Target. I feel like I'm the opposite of all of, of all the people on the internet who are like when you go into Target for one thing and you come out with several. But most of the time, I just end up not, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I was gonna get the Physician's Formula Bronzer because I've heard really good things about it. Um, so I was about to get it, I literally like picked it up and I was walking away with it and then I, when I was walking away I like looked at the actual like bronzer in there and I noticed that there's shimmer in there. I thought it was completely matte, which is what I prefer. I prefer like powders and I just prefer to be matte. Not like, like when I'm done with my makeup, I don't like to look matte and like dry and chalky or anything like that. I like to look glowy, but naturally, if that makes sense. Like I want it to come from my, I want my glow to come from like my skin and my skincare. I never like shimmer or sparkle or glow in any of my products. I just feel like matte products are so much more like airbrushing and you can just like get a more flawless look with matte products. Yeah, I don't know, long story short, I didn't get the Physician's Formula one because I noticed that had shimmer in it and I looked it up too, I was like, wait, what? Cause I'm like, maybe it's just like on the top layer and then you can't really tell. Um, when you actually put it on your face, but it did say that it has a glow to it. So, so that kind of sucks because I have been wanting to switch over to drugstore makeup. Um, right now I've been using the Jones Road, which I feel like it's not a super popular brand. Um, I guess on like TikTok and stuff like that. But if you know who Bobbi Brown is, Bobbi Brown has her well, she started her makeup line, Bobbi Brown, and then she sold it and started Jones Road. Um, and I've been using the bronzer and blush from Jones Road, and I really like it, but I actually shattered the bronzer, um, which was fine. Like, I was still using it. It was just, like, shattered inside the pan. Um, but the other day, I dropped it on the floor and it all fell out. It's time for a new bronzer. I'm just trying to find a drugstore one. I thought I had that dialed in. I was like the Physician's Formula one. It's I hear everybody rave about it, but Shimmer's not my vibe. Even if it's super subtle, I still just know that I won't like it, so. You guys, I just booked a trip to Nashville and I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah <laughs> i have a few friends that live down there oh my gosh my camera is blinking it's about to die basically i have to start packing for nashville because i'm leaving tomorrow at like nine o'clock in the morning and um yeah i have to pack and go to this back to the store to buy a few things i don't even have a suitcase here i'm just doing this so spontaneously so i'm gonna try to get that together and then while i do that i'm gonna charge my camera so we can continue the vlog until I leave tomorrow. All right, I just got out of the shower. I went in back into town and I got a few things for my trip. <laughs> you guys, I don't even know. I like have no words to even explain what I'm doing. I just, I don't, I don't know if I said, but I was just on FaceTime with one of my friends and they were like, oh, you should come to Nashville this weekend. And I was like, okay. And we're going to the Zach Bryan concert on Saturday. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but I did buy a suitcase at Target. I have a suitcase. Wait, I have a suitcase. I have actually this exact suitcase, um, but I don't have it. It's at my dad's house right now, and I literally had nothing here, so I had to buy this, unfortunately, but I think I'm gonna try to sell it or, like, I don't know, do something with it because I don't need two of the exact same suitcase. I am definitely a carry-on girly. I never check a bag, ever. I can always fit everything into a carry-on. Even if I was going on like a two week trip, I would definitely still take a carry-on. A lot of people check bags not because of the size of the suitcase, but because you wanna like bring full products and stuff like that, which I do understand it's super frustrating, like not being able to bring your stuff. Um, 
but I'm just gonna make do. So, anyways, my room is a freaking mess, so please ignore everything else going on, but I have my suitcase here, I have a little dress for the Zach Bryan concert, I have some Wranglers, which I'm really nervous because it's gonna be super hot, it's like 90 degrees every day, and... It's also very humid there, but I don't have any cute jean shorts. Oh, I was showing you guys in my last video, I think. I was wearing a pair of jean shorts, but they are just too short for me. Like, the 2 inch is way too short for me. My butt always hangs out, so. I did just order a pair of jean shorts from Abercrombie. Um, and they're actually 4 inch, I think. Either like 3.5 or 4 inch. But they haven't come in yet. I feel like Abercrombie their shipping is like it takes a long time but that's okay I wasn't obviously ordering that for this trip I was just ordering them in general for like summer anyways long story short is I have to wear my Wranglers because I don't really have any other outfit options but hopefully that'll be fine like I said I'm wearing a dress to the concert and then uh, I think we're gonna go like downtown or do something tomorrow night like Friday night so I just want to wear those and like I'm just gonna wear a white tank top and then I have just like pajamas and like day clothes and as you can see I have a lot of extra room I need to put like my makeup bag stuff like that and then on this side I literally just have my boots oh and I have a sticky bra over there in the corner but my boots take up this entire thing which by the way I think these are from oh yeah they're from Idlewind I was gonna say, they're either from Aria or Idlewind. My other boots are from Aria, but they're at my dad's house, so. Honestly, the last thing I should be doing is going out of town when I'm like trying to get my life together, but I feel like I just haven't done anything fun like this in a while, so why not? Yeah.